We're also following the city council race. There's some interesting races there. Councilwoman Candy Cedabaca is about two points behind her developer backed challenger, Daryl Watson. Of course, she is a Democratic Socialist at risk of losing the seat that she's held since 2019. Our Cole Sullivan is out at a uh, gathering tonight of a number of progressives from mayoral candidate Lisa Calderon to Candy C. DeBaca to about a half dozen other folks who hope to expand the, the Democratic Socialist foothold on council from one person to perhaps many. It, it looks like, Cole, they might need to be worried about holding on to the one seat they have. Yeah, at this point, they're not getting the sweep tile that they were hoping for. You have to forgive me, we're hearing the musical stylings of DJ Fedora behind me as this party continues to get rowdy despite some of those results. Some of those candidates not making it into a runoff, some just barely making it into a runoff here tonight. We heard from uh, Dr. Lisa Calderon earlier. She actually attacked those top two candidates in the race. And we also heard from some of the younger, first time candidates in this race running for city council. They have not voted, they were telling me earlier, they have not voted for themselves ever before. They've been in politics for a while, but had the unique experience of checking the box next to their name. Others like Councilwoman Sita Baca have been here before and says that this seems eerily familiar to her last election in 2019. Take a listen. Many of you were here back in 2019. Yeah. And this is the same thing. Yeah. Where our people show up today. Our people are gonna come for us. Yeah. They've got our back. They're busy, they're working, and that's why we're fighting, but they're showing up today. We saw it in They're hoping that they get those votes coming in over the course of the next couple days, but they didn't get the results they were hoping for at 10 o'clock where they thought they were gonna shoot up with some of the day of results here. We did not see that big shift that we that they were hoping for. They say that's a lot to do with the who voted in this municipal election. And there's a moment now these progressive candidates who believe they have here are trying to figure out how do they translate that support into votes. Cole Sullivan sharing the Wi-Fi with the DJ and and the, the light guy and the sound woman and everything else there at the Progressive Party in town. Nice place.